Hey Ellie, are you coming up here? Do you have flowers? What are you doing up there? What do you have? Oh, flower? Oh, do you let mommy smell? Oh, daddy smells? Ready? Mmm, that smells pretty. What do you have? Flowers? Yummy. Yummy? <laughs> Good job. All right, let's sit down here next to Ellie. <laughs> My question for you guys today, and this is to everybody who is in the trucking world, doesn't have to be hotshot, doesn't have to be semi, or big rig, or heavy haul, or whatever you wanna call uh, what you do specifically. My question is based on change. I wanna know because I'm about to buy brand new chains for my trailer to get my setup uh, 100% so we can get out on the road. And I don't wanna waste money on stuff that's not gonna get used. As far as chains go, um, are you using uh, 3 8 chains? Do I waste my money on you know a bunch of 3 8 chains or do I get a smaller one? Do I need half inch? Um, in your experience, are you using more uh, 20 foot chains or are you using more 10 foot chains? Which one would you recommend a uh, new guy like me purchase? So then, you know, I have everything to do what I need to do, but I'm not overspending. Uh, how many chains do you have for your truck? Are you working with four, uh, eight? Do you have 12, 15 different types of chains? Uh, when you have your chains, do you have more binders? Are you working with, you know, 10, 15, 20 different binders? Uh, so then you can strap down your strap down your loads a little bit better and work different configurations. I know I sound a little jumbled up here guys, but I, I wanna make sure that I'm not overspending uh, on stuff that's not gonna get used uh, correctly, but I wanna make sure that I have enough that I can actually get the job done in any type of way. So what would you recommend for, let's say a brand new guy into this who's just getting his setup going, what would you recommend? I'm gonna take you over here really quick. I showed this in the video when I talked about my trailer. I have a really beautiful chain rack here. And from the chain rack, we've got about, this is about three foot drop here uh, down into the box. So guys, fill up my chain rack for me. Help me do this. Uh, <laughs> that was a little bit tough. But anyways, help me to fill up my chain rack and uh, figure out exactly what I need to get out on the road and do this job perfectly without ever having any issues but not overspend too much money let me know what you guys would do uh and what your setup has with that said guys subscribe to the channel hit that like button comment on every single video going forward and you'll be entered in to win our four foot drop tarps our four foot drop tarp system when we reach that 10,000 subscriber mark Hopefully by the end of May, but you know what? If we don't do it in May, that's okay. We're gonna do it in June. Uh, it's gonna happen. For right now though, uh, on behalf of Ellie, bye. Are you coming back up here? Come on, come on, come on back. She's coming back over. See you guys later. Hey guys, did you like that video? If you did, go ahead, hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more great content just like this. As for you, I hope you drive safe out there on the roads. My name is Jason and this has been My Hot Shot Life and I will, as always, see you on the next one.